How's it going guys? So today we're playing this workshop map. Uh, I played one of these in the past. I don't think it was this one, but this is brand new and apparently it's a lot less glitchy than the previous ones. So let's get into it. These are very good for car control guys. If you're going to do anything to try to improve your mechanics and like your air roll ability, just your car control in general in the air, this is a very good exercise to do. Now obviously you're not hitting a ball, but it's just your car maneuvering around very difficult spaces so it gets you used to being able to turn your car in awkward places etc so let's get into it let's start with the easy one and let's get our way into the hard one so now you have to hit the ball off of these cones let's teach you to go fast as well i'm a little bit too fast yeah i'd say slow yourself down near the end near the end point just hit the ball Yeah, these are you really good with car control. I do a lot of pointless fancy stuff in these just because I'm messing around. But for you guys, if you're just starting out trying to learn how to air roll and stuff and boost with it, this is a very good way to start. If I had this back in the day when I was practicing, I would have got better much quicker with air rolling. It's up there. There's also a new uh, update, guys, for the third birthday of Rocket League. They released some new items, a little special event thing that you have to obviously play to get balloons and then buy the items from. There's that, and then that was the easy course already, so let's get into the medium. There's that, and there's also a new map, guys, so definitely give that stuff a try. I could do video showcasing that stuff if you guys would like me to. Um, preferably, I like to play the new map with pros just because you can do a lot of cool creative passes with it. These are difficult. These little tubes. Oh no. Probably because I'm just air rolling and being stupid, but. Definitely not easy. Oh, no way. <laughs> I screwed myself over really badly there. You gotta boost a lot to get back up to it. Go back up through here, I'm assuming. But yeah, if you guys don't know how to do any of the levels, uh, it's pretty straightforward, but this video will kind of help you on what you're supposed to do on the levels if you get confused. Some of them get weird, but I pretty much just follow the path that it takes you. That's all you gotta do. I played one that was just like a maze. Uh, there's also a hide and seek map if you guys wanna see me play that with some friends. This map's cool, it's brand new. Never played this before. I like to use my flip there because it stops my momentum. You just start flying again like normal. I flipped to the wrong side there. So it actually kept carrying on my momentum. You want to just like do a normal front flip and it'll slow you down. It'll stop you at the height you're at. I don't think you can actually drive on that wall. I gotta go back up. Whoa. Okay. I thought I was about to hit that wall. Yeah, I really enjoy playing this map though. This kind of stuff and even the dribbling like obstacle courses, they're all really fun. I like it. I hope people do more of them in the future. For sure. And also that's one of the main things that changed on this is that if you press your reset button, it doesn't kick you out. Like it doesn't put you back in the lobby. It actually asks you return to the lobby and then you can press cancel, which is pretty nice because before it just put you right into the lobby and left a lot of people raging because you have to redo everything you just did, which makes you not want to play the map anymore. So I'm glad they fixed that. All right, it's medium. Let's get into the hard one. Last one already. Let's do it. 
Alright, yeah, like, go to all the columns here. Oh my gosh, that's close. I went too fast there. Slow down for the end. Always get ready to slow down for the end, I'd say, on these maps. <laughs> Just trying to save myself, I guess. Oh my gosh. This map's weird. Oh, you're not supposed to double jump there? I know this one, if you don't double jump, you're going to get hit by the wall. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. I messed up. Okay, this way. What am I doing wrong? Gotta go here. Go down here. Okay, we made it. No, we didn't make it. Okay. If I don't, okay, I'm gonna slow down now. This one. I don't know why I'm doing this wrong. Let me slow down a bit. There we go. Much easier. Yeah, definitely take your time if something like that's happening. You don't really know where you're going wrong. Okay, so I'm going to My butt kind of touched the floor there. I guess it wasn't enough to register. Or it wasn't actually part of my hitbox, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I could tell I was going too, too fast there. That's my problem with these maps too. I get so impatient because I want to just do it quick. It actually ends up taking me longer than if I just did it slow the first time. I could probably do all these very slowly and carefully, like first try. But I try to do it like as fast as possible. I think speed is important though in this kind of thing. There we go. I go through these. Okay, this one is gonna get very trippy because you're going like in a different direction and everything's all messed up. The gravity's going weird. So you gotta start boosting in different directions and stuff. Okay, we're going down now. Camera's very confusing in these. There we go. Going up. Up again, I guess. If you ever get like confused at where you're going, spam triangle or your, your ball cam button, whatever it is for you. And it'll put you back on track. It'll face you in the direction of the ball. And then back to wherever you're facing, where your car is going. All right, gotta be careful here, we're dropping. Big drops, make sure you start boosting early in advance because you're just gonna fall straight to the ground every time if you don't preemptively boost. That'd be another tough one. Ooh. Okay, I slowed down last second there. That looked pretty cool though. Keep going. Dude, I knew it was gonna happen. So I was gonna slow down there, I was like, nah, I'll just go in at this weird angle. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go on top here. Ready to go down? 
Oh my. This level's long. Dude, this is hard. There we go. That was a long line. That we have to do there. Okay, we gotta be very careful on this too. You drop super fast. If you're not holding boost, you're gonna hit the ground extremely quick. I can't even see what's happening. I assume we're near the end, but I'm not even sure, honestly. I haven't replayed these. This is a brand new set of maps, so. Hard to tell how close we are. Wait, this way? There we go. Damn, they really make you try to fit through these these tight places. Oh. Shit. I'm just matrixing, matrixing everything. Oh my. We've gotten to that point where I'm just trying to like speed through everything. <laughs> and I keep messing up because of it. Ooh. No. All right, we're good, we good. This is the one. I can smell it. You're dropping down here, so you really have to boost against momentum. What the? I don't even think I hit the wall there. The hitboxes are still a little bit scuffed on the walls though, to be fair. Oh yeah, you really have to just boost against this momentum. Okay, keep it up. I'm sure, we're almost done. It's right there. I can see the end. I see you. Come to me, ball. Oh no, this looks hard. Out of focus mode on this one. Oh my. I did it. First try. Oh my. I did not think I could do that. Oh, it's the one. I think this is the one. There we go. Huh. Not like this. Not like this. Come back to me. We did it. Right, time trial. That's pretty cool. So you have a time trial thing and there's also... Huh. Pretty cool. All right. So it's gonna be all for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day slash night whenever you're watching this. Give this map a try if you haven't already. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.